awesome because they're in the harmonic series, and that's, that validates triads. So, uh, yeah. Uh, do you sit down by the piano and kind of figure out the harmonics first before you stretch it out and then uh, kind of harmonize it and yeah. arrange it into voices? Um, sometimes, yeah, I do. Um, I've, I've, you, I use the piano in increasingly less, so decreasingly, um, when in, in arrangement, just because it's, it's first of all, it's not in tune, and second of all, I think it's more fun and challenging not to, not to try and use it. Um, but it's, it's a really good song. If anyone wants to play with harmony, then just go to the piano, because most of harmony is like in the piano, so you can, you can try stuff out. I mean, just to hear the sound of that on the piano is, is well handy, you know. And obviously, when I record it in real life, the third is going to be a bit lower, and this third is going to be a bit lower. But you kind of follow, I mean, I, I found this just by trying out when you sing it. When you sing it, you realize it's not in tune. You think, why isn't it in tune? And then you realize, well, it's because um, the third isn't in tune or something like this. So uh, when you don't limit your ears to equal temperament, then, you, then you're winning. But yeah, the piano is cool. Um, and you can think about um, trying to play things in different numbers of parts um, on the piano as an exercise. That's a great exercise to play things in, say, four parts. For example, that's nice. Um, yeah, where was I going to? Where was I going to go? Yeah, so bi-triadic, yeah, bi-triadic voicings are cool because triads are cool. Um, certain there are certain sounds that are strong, and a triad is one of them because it's just a it's a good it's a whole sound and it kind.